Agriculture is an important sector for Zambia as it contributes about 19% to the gross domestic product GDP and employs three quarters of the country's population. Zambia has in the recent past become a regional hub for seed production in Africa. The seed produced is exported to countries like Nigeria, Egypt, Ivory Coast and Ethiopia. Apart from these countries, Zambia is known as a quality seed producer in sub-Saharan Africa and Comesa countries. Recognizing that pests and diseases do not respect national boundaries, the Plant Quarantine and Phytosanitary Services, PQPS, conducts regular seed crop inspections at different stages of plant growth. This is meant to ensure that the seed produced meets all the phytosanitary requirements for trading partners. PQPS conducts seed crop inspections aimed at spotting crop diseases and pests on the seeds meant for export using various methods. However, seed production comes with its own challenges from production, harvesting and exportation. Located in Chibombo district is a seed grower who has been in the seed business for more than 13 years. Pete Young shares his experiences of what it takes to be a seed grower. I've been growing seed maize for 14 years now. Um, ever since I got to Zambia I've been growing seed maize. So it's been a long journey, we've learned a lot. Um, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of challenges, but every season we have another challenge which we, we, which we have to learn to get over and um, and it's been an interesting journey um, as I say we've definitely honed our, our techniques we've honed our production we're getting up there to the to the top yields our qualities I think are probably the best in the world I, 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 I'm reasonably sure that Zambia produces the best quality maize seed anywhere in the world certainly certainly way above anything that the Americans can produce so it's all non-GMO. Um, so we 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 plant generally. We split our planting so that um, because you can see we have to detassel this crop by hand, which takes a lot of labour. So we have to split our planting so that we <clears throat> don't have too much detasseling to do in one go. And um, at every process, the inspectors come and they check. They come and check, they check for disease, they check for pests, they check that we've got the right plant population, they check that we put the right varieties in the right rows. It's very, it's, it's very um, technical and um, it's monitored right from before we start planting. It's monitored all the way. Government inspectors uh, are come and they inspect, they check that we're on the right track. Alan Miller is another seed grower located in Lusaka's Lilai area who has been growing seed for different seed companies. I've been growing seed maize for many, many years. And um, yeah, it's different varieties come after different years. This is the first year we're growing this particular variety. Quite short, I think it's a single cross though, I'm not sure. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a small one. The, the seed... Um, the seed uh, projection is, it should be three tons a hectare. And yeah, since it's the first time, we'll see what we get out of it. Um, we regularly have inspections from the, the uh, plant quarantine um, SCCI. And um, yeah, it's important. It's important for us. It's important for the, uh, for the growers and, uh, that, that the company sells for. We also have many inspections for, from the seed company as well, um, probably 10 to 12, maybe even up to 20 inspections um, from the beginning to the end. We do the roguing of the plants, we do the detasseling, um, we apply uh, herbicides and fungicides to control any diseases. The, seed, the whole idea is, is that the seeds should be very, very pure and it should not have many insects. Our biggest problem more recently is from fall armyworm and um, false codling moth are the two bad um, insects that we have problems with. 
these days. And in, in, you know, up to about 10 years ago, we used to spray uh, insecticides on the crop once. Now we're up to like six, seven, eight times sometimes. So yes, you know, the insecticide um, cost of growing seed crops is a lot more than it used to be. Um, yeah, I've grown for many companies, Pana, Pioneer, uh, which is now Cortiva, um, and uh, Bayer, as you see, Seedco, uh, Zamseed. Um, we, 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 we do so supply them a service where we do the tri their trials for future uh, varieties and they can, they can grow their varieties out and have a look at, at disease um, susceptibility and basic yield and all those all the all those things that are pertinent to to growing crops and supplying good seed to the Zambian farmers. In Zambia, the liberation of the economy in the 1990s marked the expansion phase of the maize seed industry. Before that, the country had only one prominent commercial seed company called Zamseed, which was established in 1981. Basically, Zambia Seed Company Limited is the seed producing company in the country which was there even before privatization that is the 1991 privatization which brought about the competition in the industry so by saying so i think the government did put up a neighboring environment for all the players coming from outside and within who would want to venture into the seed production or business. Therefore, I think the policies on the government part is very enabling, which makes it each player to come on board. And secondly, I think there have been so much innovation in the seed business on the part of Zambia in the, in the region. And by saying so, I think Zambia qualifies to be a seed producing hub in the region. By saying so, I think as a company, we've done so much in the industry in terms of the breeding part and also promotion of other local crops in terms of seed production on the market. Therefore, the company is able currently to export to other countries, that is in the Sadiq region and also the Hof Komesa. Otherwise, notable ones among those is Tanzania, where we are doing more business and we've set up an office there Talk of also Botswana, who have an established office, Namibia also an office, and currently we are trying to enter Congo DR and also Angola in terms of the uh, seed, uh, seed business. With these other players such as Sidico, Panam, uh, Dikaub, and also Zambesid, Syngenta coming on board, I think uh, Zambia will be more placed actually to produce more and sustainable crops in terms of seed on the market and that will make it to be the hub to lay on with in terms of seed business in the region. Today there are many factors that have contributed to making maize seed industry in Zambia become one of the strongest and most competitive in sub-Saharan Africa. Now, whatever agri-science as you may be aware uh, being a global pure play agricultural company that offers farmers across the world uh, with a complete portfolio in the industry uh, that includes uh, uh, seed as well as crop protection. Uh, we have chosen Zambia to be a seed production hub uh, for the region. Um, so Zambia is a strategic uh, location for seed production and we are produc producing seed for uh, for East, Central and Southern African countries. That spans from Mozambique, so we produce seed uh, for the Mozambican uh, market, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, uh, the Great Lakes region, uh, DRC, um, seed that goes to Angola, uh, Botswana. So Zambia is a seed production hub. And we are incredibly proud uh, that Zambia is a seed production hub for all these countries and it gives Zambia uh, to be in a very good position. Now, one would wonder why uh, has whatever, a global pure play organization, choose Zambia to be a seed production hub, choose Zambia to be a strategic location for seed production. 
well. It's because of um, uh, the enabling environment uh, that has been created. Government has created a very good in, um, uh, uh, environment for seed production. Uh, starting with the red regulatory, uh, we have um, a fantastic regulatory system. The SCCI are doing an incredible job uh, in terms of um, uh, uh, regulation in the seed. As you may be aware that um, uh, seed is a proprietary uh, product and would want to produce it in a country where the regulatory system is robust uh, so that we can, um, we can uh, protect our, our germplasm. But not only that, um, we have uh, um, a stable uh, political environment. Um, the peace and tranquility that prevails in Zambia over the years makes Zambia to be a strategic location for seed production because you wouldn't want to produce seed where there is political upheavals. Uh, so as a global organization, looking at that uh, uh, political stability is a plus in terms of making Zambia uh, a seed production hub. But also we have the good weather, uh, the climatic condition are favorable for seed production. Uh, Zambia has everything that it takes to have um, uh, to, for, 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 for seed production. But above all, we have the skill. Uh, we have the necessary skill, um, the, 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 the agronomy uh, um, uh, technology that we have, the, the, the expertise that we have, and also the farmers, the farmer base, the grower base. We have excellent grower base in Zambia for the seed production. So all these combined make Zambia a perfect location, a hub for seed production for East, Central and Southern African countries. And this is good for the country because it provides um, uh, um, uh, good uh, uh, inflows in terms of forex that the country requires. It also provides uh, uh, job opportunities for our people, uh, but also it's an enabler for economic development of our country. Annually, seed companies hold agricultural field days. Field days are educational events held on farm or demo plots. Zambia Agriculture Research Institute Zari organizes and hosts these events, oftentimes in collaboration with agriculture educators from Pure Place Seed Global Companies. The events usually include demonstrations of specific management practices and equipment and highlight research methods and results. And uh, in terms of um, uh, uh, genetic uh, materials that we produce as, as, as seed co, it is locally produced by local farmers who are engaged by, um, uh, by the organization so that um, the best uh, locally produced material comes out of um, our, 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 our lines. I know um, uh, for Zambia also in terms of um, uh, being an agricultural uh, company, we started farming long time ago. You know, generations have passed and uh, uh, they have passed on the knowledge to the, to the new upcoming uh, generations. And so um, farming is, is a culture, if you like, in, in, in Zambia. So that's why you you find that it is easy for Zambia to you know to to, to produce because there's also availability of labor. We have uh, uh, not have we have not had a lot of problems as far as uh, labor is concerned in 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 production of of, of the seeds. The the, the 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 material that we produce here is always. Uh, subjected to testing, you know, we, we, we as, as a company we have a research station both in Lusaka and we have got another one in Mpongwe in, on the copper belt. So whatever material that we churn out of our research uh, stations and we want to bring out to, to the market, it goes through our regulatory uh, processes that have been put um, uh, across by the, the, the government of, the, of this country to ensure that only pure material is, is, is uh, taken out into the market and uh, 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 processed and, and produced for, for the, the open market. So in terms of um, our relationship with the, the government arms that are in, in, in charge of uh, uh, regulating the, the seed um, well, and even the seed act that, that, that does regulate the, 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 seed, the, the seed industry is, is very adequate 
to protect Zambian material that is coming out of Zambia, to, uh, for it to be able to go out into the other countries within the region and, uh, and uh, far, far off and still manage to perform well in those areas that it's being taken. And so when we are exporting, again, we go through the regulatory processes to ensure that what we export equally meets the standard required by the, com the countries where we are exporting that seed. So um, you can see that throughout the value chain, the, 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 the point of checks, quality assurance, quality assurance is always emphasized. So then you are then uh, also giving comfort to the, to, the, to the countries to which you are importing or to the farmers you are selling your seed to, that the product you are giving them is of high quality and it meets the standards that uh, have put, been put across by the government. Export trading company ETC Zambia is an agricultural trading company in Zambia operating under the export trading group ETG brand. I work with the agricultural sector in Zambia and the, one of my key responsibilities is ensuring that the country produces sufficient seed for the farming community. Zambia being centrally located in central and southern Africa, we have an advantage in terms of uh, the rainfall pattern and also we've got uh, plenty arable land that is uh, very good for agricultural production and this has placed Zambia at the center of the seed production or has made Zambia become a seed hub for seed production for southern Eastern and Central Africa. Zambia produces quite a good quantity of seed that is used locally and we also export to our neighboring countries as far as East Africa, uh, our neighboring countries Malawi, Zimbabwe and the others. The um, factors that have made Zambia become a seed hub is we've got first a very stable political environment we also have a very good agricultural policy that has resulted in a very viable seed sector in Zambia. The Seed Control and Certification Institute in Zambia is very well organized and has got a very robust and stringent regulatory policies that are helping to foster the agriculture sector in Zambia, especially in terms of seed production. We also have a very viable phytosanitary services offered by the PQPS under the Ministry of Agriculture that ensures that the seed that Zambia is producing is of the highest quality, that is disease-free, that does not transmit diseases to where, uh, whichever countries we are exporting to. And uh, we also have a very good for rainfall pattern very good arable land and also we've got the technology, the manpower and the technical know-how to uh, help us produce sufficient seeds that can be supplied to all our neighboring countries that may be in need of food. So Zambia is well positioned to take up the role as a seed hub and I think we are doing that job successfully. All these seed companies cannot export seed without compliance to the demands from trading partners. It's for this reason that the Department of Plant Quarantine and Phytosanitary Services is very key in ensuring phytosanitary standards that allow the movement of plants, plant products and other regulated articles are adhered to before consignments move in international trade. So while we are here, um, we are at uh, Miller Farms, we are conducting our seed crop uh, inspections. Now this is an annual activity that we do. Uh, for us to be able to facilitate um, a trade of uh, a seed to different parts of um, the world. So, as you may be aware, of which if you don't, I'm not telling you, so you know, that Zambia is a net exporter of uh, seed, especially maize seed. We export within the region, did a SADIC, commerce as well, um, East African community, all those places, including North Africa. Uh, West Africa, so we, we export our seed and other parts of uh, the world, of course. Um, this is an important activity that we have to conduct uh, every year. We have percentary conditions that are stipulated by the importing countries of which we as Zambia need to comply to. For us to be able to do that, we have to be in the field physically to check what pests are occurring uh, during the time we are doing uh, these inspections and also look at um, 
the requirements that have been stipulated by the importing countries. So we look at the list that has been provided to us. And then as we are doing the inspections, we look out for those. So what we look out for, of course, the um, insect pests. Um, we look out for diseases, different types of diseases. They could be viral, uh, like uh, the main sclerotic motovirus, uh, sugar cane mosaic virus. Um, of course, which we don't have currently in Zambia, uh, but they are there in uh, the eastern part of uh, Africa. And uh, we're trying by all means to ensure that they don't actually come to Zambia. This is key to avoiding incidences of non-compliance that have the capacity to affect market access of products originating from Zambia. It is also critical in ensuring that import of plants and plant products is adequate to prevent introduction of quarantine pests into the country. Indeed, the Plant Quarantine and Phytosanitary Services is working hard with its stakeholders who are in the seed industry and include seed growers engaged by seed companies in ensuring Zambia maintains market with its cooperating partners from the international community. For the Department of Plant Quarantine and Phytosanitary Services to carry out its mandate correctly, it comprises three units, namely Pest Risk Analysis and Data Management, PDM Unit, Standards and Regulations Unit, and the Pest Surveillance Unit. This is key to avoiding incidences of non-compliance that have the capacity to affect market access of products originating from Zambia. It is also critical in ensuring that import of plants and plant products is adequate to prevent introduction of quarantine pests into the country. The message from the Minister of Agriculture is that we must avoid moving with plants and plant products without adhering to plant health regulations whenever traveling across borders. Our colleagues in the transport and logistics sector need to ensure that ships, airplanes, Trucks and trains do not carry plant pests and diseases into new areas by adhering to the plant health regulations. Fellow countrymen and women, on its part, government will increase support to national and regional plant protection organizations that are the first line of defense. It is therefore the expectation of government that all institutions and members of the public must respect and abide by plant health regulations in order for our country to protect agriculture, forestry, and the environment. Indeed, the Plant Quarantine and Phytosanitary Services is working hard with its stakeholders who are in the seed industry and include seed growers engaged by seed companies in ensuring Zambia maintains market with its cooperating partners from the international community.